Hello Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love. What can you expect in the near future and who you might be dealing with. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. All right, so let's jump right in for Capricorn. Spirit, what does Capricorn need to know regarding love? What's coming their way in love? Eight of Pentacles, the Empress Reverse, and the World Reverse. King of Wands Reverse, uh, Four of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups in the near future. Bottom of the deck and overall energy, we have Justice, Libra energy. So that's good. At least we have something here that tells me that it's not... It's not... Um, as bad as it might look at first glance, especially with the world reverse, the Empress reverse. What I'm getting here is more um, delays. Like, it's something's going to require effort, perhaps, with the Eight of Pentacles. Effort, time, with the Eight of Pentacles. Focus. The world reverse could be a card about um, a cycle that hasn't fully ended um, or hasn't fully begun. But Justice is telling me that this is going to be okay in the end. So let's see what this Justice energy is about. Tell me about Justice for Capricorn. Why is Justice here? The Lovers. Wow, Gemini energy, okay. Justice in a partnership, Justice in love. Tell me about Justice. Two of Swords, okay. A difficult decision, especially when I have the Lovers and the Two of swords together a decision between the head and the heart well justice is definitely all about the head logic reason objectivity emotions are, do not play a role there temperance sagittarius energy so yeah something's slowly coming together here something slowly balancing out for you in love i don't know if this is regarding a particular partner you're already with or something new happening we're gonna we're about to find out when i start clarifying so you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Gemini, a Libra. What else do I have here? King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Knight of Cups is water. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But what I, what I think is happening here is there's some sort of decision that someone's coming to. Where maybe they're thinking more about the logic, you know, and the reason part of it rather than just pure emotion. So let's see what all of this is uh, leading to. Actually, let me get some energy oracles can I get some more insight into what is coming Capricorn's way in love insight for Capricorn regarding love what's coming their way in love Pure seduction what's coming their way in love oops restoring balance exactly Broken silence, spontaneous energy, second chances, bountiful harvest. So this is kind of like the Empress. Anything else? I think that's pretty much what wanted to come out. So yeah, with pure seduction and restoring balance, I feel like someone has a drive, a need, a desire for balance, for fairness. I feel like something's happening quickly with this spontaneous energy, impulsive and unplanned, like something's happening maybe um faster than you expected or hoped and second chances so this could be definitely a second chance at love and an opportunity with a specific person but balance is very important here fairness especially because we have justice as the overall energy tell me about the eight of pentacles why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Nine of Swords. Okay, tell me more about the Eight of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Someone's very worried about some sort of obstacle. King of Pentacles. This could be you. Yeah, Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So it's like something needs more, more time or effort, more focus because there is an obstacle or a conflict here. Drama, perhaps. Fighting, arguments within a group of people and then there's the ace of wands behind that so it's almost like 
There might be someone objecting to a new beginning here. Yeah, four of wands. So this could be at home or this could be somewhere where you're comfortable or it could have something to do with, um, what's kind of the energy that I picked up there? Almost like a, somewhere where you frequent, like it could be a friend group, family. It could have something to do in the home or in your home life. The sun and the moon, okay, it's completely opposite energies there. Pisces energy with the moon and the sun. So I get the sense that, okay, so because broken silence is here and I have the four of pentacles, which is a card about kind of holding back. I feel like the moon and the sun is like something coming out. The The clouds are clearing. Um, what was unclear before is clear now. The sun is shining on something that was hidden. So I feel like this is all leading to something, this eight of pentacles. This could be you working on overcoming an obstacle that's affecting you, your connection or future love, whatever. This could also be your person's energy that I'm picking up here because this is just generally what's coming towards you in love. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Typically they get things done in a slower way. They're more practical. They're more determined, um, risk adverse. They don't really like taking risks. Um, so this would be somebody that's trying to possibly be very grounded, very stable as they try to deal with whatever this conflict is. It could be anything. Let's see if we can get some insight on this Five of Swords. There's someone worried about this. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Yeah, the High Priestess. Again, this, this idea of something secretive or secret, hidden. King of Wands here. I think someone's worried that something's not going to pan out or grow or manifest with the Emperor's Reverse. That maybe they might have made a mistake and now they have to dig their way out of it. Let's see. Tell me about the Emperor's Reverse. Five of Wands. This could be somebody specific that's upset. Tell me about the Empress Reverse. Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Yeah. There's something going on here with another person perhaps or just this big obstacle. There's the Fool. And I think it's causing delays with the World Reverse. Let's see what we get here. Tell me about the World Reverse. Why is the world reverse? The star, hope, faith, Aquarius energy. Why is the world reverse? Healing, um, renewal. Why is the world reverse? The Empress is upright. Okay. Ten of Swords. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. The Hermit after that. Okay. Um, what I'm getting here with the star and the empress is almost that like there's still hope for um, abundance, for growth, for creativity. Hope for stability. Faith. Um, despite the fact that something's not really working here. I don't know what this is about Capricorn because I feel like, you know, obviously it's going to be different for all of you what this obstacle is. But it's clear that there is something happening here with the Five of Swords, Five of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Um, there is some sort of problem that someone's worried about. If this isn't you, flip it for another person. But I'm going to just say that this is you. Um, I feel like someone has not been able to get what they want or begin a cycle because of what's happening. Um, and, and it's something that they deeply desire. A second chance, a, a balance restored for things to be fair. For things to be made right. Someone here, this is their focus. And for some reason, maybe they've been dealing with, I don't know, anxiety or are hiding how they feel. Um, but I think what's happening here is with this Ten of Swords, when it showed up here and the world reverse, is that someone still has hope or faith despite this Ten of Swords. So it's like a Ten of Swords, some sort of difficult ending has happened or is going to be happening very soon. And despite the fact that it's happened, someone still is hoping for this world to turn around for the Empress and the Star. For justice in love. This could, again, this could be you or another person. Now when I see here the Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Wands reverse, I think of someone apologizing. 
I just, you know, if it's not someone apologizing, I think of new love coming in possible, possibly here. So let's see. Tell me about this King of Wands reverse. The King of Wands does show up also upright here. So I don't know. And it's with the High Priestess. Tell me about the King of Wands reverse. Why is the King of Wands reverse? Anyways, the reason that I mentioned him showing up twice is that I feel that they might be significant. Either they're a symbol for someone taking action and maybe they are not taking action in the near future, even though they want to, or there's someone that wanted to take some sort of action or be bold or fearless, but uh, when it comes time to do whatever needs to be done in the near future, they kind of like falter or they take two steps, one step forward, two steps back because the King of Wands reverse definitely puts their foot in it. Tell me about the King of Wands reverse. Two of Wands. Why is the King of Wands reverse? The Wheel of Fortune. Oh yeah, this is someone that wants to turn things around or wants an opportunity. There's the Tower and the Seven of, Seven of Cups. Yeah, this is someone trying to figure out how to turn something around. A Tower moment, perhaps? Maybe a Tower moment is necessary. What's at the bottom of the deck? The Death card. Holy crap. Scorpio Energy. When I see death, tower, and the wheel of fortune, I just think it's meant to happen and it's meant to be like an eruption, a complete takedown, complete ending. Ten of swords has also shown up. So for whatever reason, this could be somebody that wants to choose a different path here to turn this around, this tower moment, this death card. Maybe have a second chance with you or you want a second chance with them. You want to restore the balance here. This could also be that someone has decided to reveal something and maybe that leads to some sort of change or ending because i have broken silence here and the four of pentacles is here which tells me someone's been holding on to something holding back tell me about the four of pentacles why the four of pentacles what's this four of pentacles about Queen of Swords. So this is someone holding something back and needing to speak up, needing to break the silence. Yeah, King of Swords. Some Something being said, communicated very openly and honestly. Yeah, the Fool. So I feel like someone wants, and there you are, Capricorn, the Devil at the bottom of the deck, and the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like someone wants a, a second chance at love with you, or you want a second chance at love in general. And this requires being honest, speaking up, revealing some sort of feeling or um, something like that. Taking a risk by communicating something. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Four of Cups. Yeah, someone was holding back their emotions. Yeah, Three of Wands. Waiting to speak up, waiting to bring this cup to you or vice versa. Ten of Pentacles. For whatever reason, whoever this is, if this is you or your person, you're hoping that this cup takes you to like long-term potential. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. When I think of the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles together, I think of marriage, future marriage partner or something like that. Hmm. I apologize in advance if my dogs start barking up a storm because I have a DoorDash order coming up to the front door here so I hope you can't hear them go crazy okay tell me about this person that Capricorn is has or will be dealing with the Hierophant reverse tell me about this person that Capricorn is has or will be dealing with in the near future the Queen of Cups Tell me about this person that Capricorn is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about them? Wow, the full reverse. Okay, interesting. The Hierophant reverse Taurus energy, the Queen of Cups, and the full reverse. So again, I get the sense of a delayed start, uh, hesitating. Someone not really willing or able to take a risk here or being scared to take a risk. Despite the fact that the Queen of Cups is telling me that someone has feelings here, emotions. The Hierophant reverse, this could be somebody that 
isn't able to commit or is rebelling in some way. I'm going to have to clarify that in the extended because I want to see what exactly this uh, Hierophant Reverse could represent. Sometimes the Hierophant Reverse could be somebody that no longer cares what's expected of them or how they're seen. They're not confined by societal pressures or by conformity or tradition, someone that's non-traditional, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but also the higher form reverse could be that someone is unable to be traditional or is unable to follow rules or be in uh, focused on committing or something like that or take things serious. Um, I think that someone's scared. Whoever this is, I think they have some fears. Despite the fact that the emotions are here. Queen of Cups. This is someone that has emotions, has feelings. Um, and again, this could be somebody that is new coming in or someone that you've already had some sort of a history with. Let me get some more insight into this person's energies. And then I'm going to take this to the extended because we're going to look closer at this person's energies. And also Capricorn, I want to know what the heck is going on with this Wheel of Fortune and this tower. Because it's such powerful energy. I want to know what that's all about. What can you expect from that or any more insight that we can get on that? Tell me more about the energies here with this person towards Capricorn. You will always be in my heart. I didn't realize what I had until I was gone. Okay, so this could be somebody from the past, somebody that you have history with. Um, this does not have to be somebody that um, you had a romantic connection with. It could have been somebody that you just know in your past. But apparently they still care about you, Capricorn. There's still interest here. Um, we'll have to dive more deeply into what their intentions are with you with the extended. But for what I see here, I think that this person is definitely interested and is holding on to you in a way or holding on to this idea of you and this connection. Maybe this is someone that wants a second chance with you. That makes a lot of sense given the other readings I've had for Capricorn recently, but doesn't necessarily have to be somebody that was a ex, right? It could just be somebody that maybe things didn't take off with them or they weren't able to begin. Something wasn't able to begin. Um, but I have a feeling that a lot of you are dealing with an, a person who... I don't know. It's like something hasn't officially taken off here. And there's a reason why. There's an obstacle. Some sort of problem. Maybe an interference in the form of a person. And Spirit is saying that there will be justice. That despite whatever happens. Whether you want to be with this person or not. Um, despite how you feel about them. Or how they feel about you. Um, you will have justice and love. That I feel is the most important message. Um, maybe it's just a rocky start or just a rocky road, you know, to get there. Um, maybe it'll take time with temperance, you know, but I feel like this Wheel of Fortune, this tower, it was like some, whatever happened for you in love recently was meant to happen to get you to this point. And well, for whatever reason, this person could still be hanging around, but maybe they're not exactly, you know, the end all be all. Maybe they are just a part of your journey right now. Um, and you have to make a decision about what to do about this particular person. Um, but yeah, I don't want to get like, go down that road too much because I feel like this reading is different for depending on which group you fall under for Capricorn because um, I am reading for a collective. So anyways, so I'm going to take this to the extended. I want to, again, look at that Wheel of Fortune in the Tower to see what the heck is up with that and also look at your person's energy more closer.